Hello, this is T-Rex bringing you back for some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. In the last episode, we joined the Neighborhood Watch and cleared some foes out of Scrap Boulevard. And a reward for our efforts was this Iron Sword that I now have equipped to Cloud. And so I wanted to show off some changes to Cloud's loadout that I made off screen. And so I have given him the iron blade and so we can see here by comparison to the buster sword that we get a little bit higher boost to our magic attack and our defense and also to our hp but this comes at the price of sacrificing some of our attack power and so also off screen what i did was i upgraded the iron blade and I'll go ahead and show off the upgrades I gave it there and so I gave it a max HP plus 150 boost and a defense plus 5 and so as was indicated in the stats um, it's a little bit more defense oriented as far as by comparison to the buster sword and also a little bit higher in the area of magic attack. So um, I also reslotted Clot's mat Cloud's materia, and I'll go ahead and show that off. I gave him the healing materia, also gave him a, the fire materia and the ice materia that we picked up in the last episode. I also decided to give him the deadly dodge back, and also gave him the cactar materia, or left that in the weapon. And so Tifa right now, all she's got is the Chakra Materia. And then in addition to that, I made one more change to Cloud. And that is I purchased a Bulletproof Vest here at the item shop, or the weapon shop. And so the Bulletproof Vest offers an increase in vitality of 5%. And so... I figure that goes a little bit more nicely with the sword and the upgrades that I just put into it. And I could see where the bulletproof vest will be useful later on. One of the other things that I also wanted to mention is we've been getting these items that increase our attributes by certain percents. And it would seem that based off of previous Final Fantasies, if we get these percentage boosts, they're a little bit better than a raw numerical value. So if we look, for example, at the... Well, we can take the healing material out real quick and then put it back in. We get a plus one boost to MP. Now, whether or not that's a percentage boost or not, I'm not entirely sure yet. But the benefits of having items that offer a percent boost is that as our stats increase, the percent boost bonus get a lot larger or they get larger and so those as a result tend to surpass raw numerical values as far as benefits to our stats so so I don't know just yet whether or not we're getting percentage boosts to our attributes with our materia here certainly in the original Final Fantasy 7 that was the case and we also tended to get penalized for using one specific type of materia too much so and we haven't seen any of that yet maybe that'll happen later on but it certainly hasn't happened yet so so those are about the changes there that i made to my party off screen there was one thing here that i wanted to do as well and so we have this battle setting menu and so what i'm going to go ahead and do is clear out the shortcuts that we currently have and then in addition to that I wanted to show this off so we can set our limit breaks here is what it looks like so it sort of looks like over time we might learn another limit break as is indicated by the empty spot below the cross slash and if I recall correctly the way it worked in the original Final Fantasy 7 was that we got new limit breaks or unlocked new limit breaks by using the ones that we currently have at our disposal so 
But I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with Tifa here and clear out her current shortcuts as well. And then what I'm also going to do is we can change our leader here. So I'm going to set Tifa to my leader for the time being. And I'll demonstrate why I wanted to do that here a little bit later on. And so with that being said, we're all set to go continue our next main quest objective, which is this problem solving objective over here. So we need to go talk to this guy called Weimer. So we'll go ahead and head on over there and see what he's got to say. You just opened up shop in the area, didn't you? Searching for candidates. Oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Okay, and so we get a tutorial now for odd jobs or quests. And so it looks like we can open up our map to view some quests that are objective or some quests that are available. And so these are optional objectives and as would be the case with pretty much any Final Fantasy, we get the opportunity to do quests not necessarily associated with the main storyline. And, and usually when we partake in these and complete them, we get a decent reward for doing that. And so it also says that we can take on multiple quests at once. And then that our fame will grow as we complete them. So we'll see if that has any sort of benefit later on, I guess. But Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Okay, and now we also get a tutorial on collecting battle intel for this young man, Chadley, that we just met. And he also gave us an assess materia. And so basically what we're going to do is use the assess materia on foes. And so that'll give us the benefit of completing the side quest here for Chadley. But then it also will add to our enemy intel here. So we can start filling our data log with information on the foes that we're fighting, like what sort of weaknesses that they have that we can exploit. So before we go ahead and do that though, I'll go ahead and assign the assess materia that I just acquired, and I'm gonna give it to Tifa actually. And then we have this battle intel. And so this would be the side quest that Chadley just gave us here. And so we're supposed to assess two enemy types is, is what it's asking us to do. And so then if we open up our map, we have all these oh, green objectives now on the lower left corner of the screen. And these are our side quests. So, 
and we have four of them that we can address at the moment and as I said these are optional objectives so but right now it looks as if we actually have to complete these as we have to carry out the jobs in order to advance the main quest so so there's sort of a logical way at least from what I've been able to tell on my practice run in which we can sort of approach these to maximize our benefits of doing such so the first one that I'm gonna head over to is up here at the item shop the rat problem and so I'm gonna go over there and talk to the store owner My husband decided to go to the station. You know, the item store is falling on hard times. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget, our wide selection of items is guaranteed to satisfy. You a lover? You a fighter? Hey there, Tifa. No Welcome Tifa, back. Anything and, everything and you, you could the new merc in town for. looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were rat buddies have been tearing up town, looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. Alright, and so we got an update there now. And so if we check our map, we can see that the quest objective has moved over here. And so that's what we're going to do next. And it looks like we have to slay the were-rats until the doom rats appear. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter... Wanna go right. So we're gonna go through this tunnel here. Alright, so now I'm gonna use the assess materia. And this will partly contribute then to the objective that we were given by Chadley. So let's go ahead and scan this were rat here. And so now we get max HP revealed as well as an elemental weakness. So if we look at our icons over here, we can see that the were rat is weak to ice. So with that being said, I'm going to switch back to cloud. <laughs> Should we wait? You know, this might be a waste of time. Let's head back to the store and touch base for now. All right, so let's see here. Might as well go back to the item shop and see if he's got anything to say. messing with you. Heard you took out some were rats, which is nice and all, but the job was to wipe up the doom rats. No biggie. Get back out there and finish the job, and we're good. 
Don't look so glum. It's only a matter of time till they show. You'll get them this time for sure. All right, and so that's the reassurance that the item shop owner gives us for the time the being. Straight from the place, no matter your needs. So the next place I'm going to go is over here, and we have to talk to Betty. And I'm going to get the Lost Friends side quest started. She can help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh yeah, and they're all cats. I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Find my friends, please. So our quest objective for Lost Friends updates now. And we need to find her feline friends is what it says. And we got to search the slum then for the three cats. So let's go ahead and start doing that. What's the source of all life? We'll go ahead and head up this direction first. What can goods when we get simple? Huh? She won't me. Wait, did you Are hear you that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. Looks damn near rusted through to me. I'm game as long as it buys us around. So the first cat is right over here. Quest objective updates again. And so we're at one of three now. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find the other Looks two. Like I'm not the only one got the My sister on the plate. Those bikes are reserved for someone to There's one favorite. place in the yes. Enjoy yourself. either last episode okay, or the episode before. Please, okay. Did you hear that just Last now? I, I think one of Betty's cats one. might be nearby. I heard from so it looks like the next cat's right here. Should leave one more. You spot a cat, but it runs away. Keep searching. Okay, we can do that. Hey, what are you doing in there? Come on out. Quality product makes a huge difference. I'm trying to get a cat to come out. It snatched one of my pastries and scurried in there. Will you be a deer and lend me a hand? Hmm. Looking good. Quality product makes a huge difference. Just like that. And this it takes sucks. off. Uh, screw this. I won't return to Betty just yet. But our objective updates. So we gotta go back to Betty and apologize now.
We can get a few more lines of dialogue out of the NPC here, so. Oh, for the love of... I'm sick and tired of chasing this little guy around. I've been seeing more and more cats around here lately. And of course, they all come to me for food, as cats do. But I can't complain. They're so adorable. I've been seeing more and more cats around here lately. And of course, they all come to me for food, as cats do. Alright, so that takes care of all the dialogue there. Let's go ahead and see what Betty's got to say now. direction here. Complete our first side quest that went here. Well. Could be you found your calling. Eh. Was all right, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity, not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? Alright, and so now we get a main quest objective of a job well done. Back over at the bar, which is where we could head. But I'm going to continue working on side quests here rather than do that. Because we've really only just started to unlock the benefits of completing these so but we did get a new item as well so let's go ahead and check that out and we get a maiden's kiss and so that removes toad related curses so nice to have that we have one at our disposal at the moment we'll go ahead and head on back towards the area where we're supposed to hunt the rats, but I'm not gonna go back there just yet. Hey, one other thing I wanna do beforehand. Aha, the man with the strange job. It's so bad, we might have to close up shop. A friend of mine's an aspiring. And we'll go ahead and talk to this guy over here and he's got the nuisance in the factory side quest so hello hello oh what do we have here i'm guessing you're that merc i've heard so much about you're not here to shop are you people were right you look like you can handle yourself so some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned talliger factory can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Alright, and he's a shop owner too, so we can buy some things from him. And he has an ether in stock, but only one. And I'm assuming that the down arrow means that it's at a discount. I think the potions are about 20 gil cheaper here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And we get an update then to Nuisance in the Factory. And so that moves over here now.
I'm not going to head that direction just yet. We're going to go back and see if our Doom Rats are available for takedown instead. Alright, and so now I'm going to assess a Doom Rat here. These guys have 2,526 HP, so quite a bit more than their weaker counterparts. And they are weak to ice as well, so with that I'll go ahead and switch back to Cloud. Triple Slash uses two stocks. I'll go with Braver instead. This won't take long. Chill. In the mix. All right. I suppose I can go ahead and use some abilities with Tifa here. Now let's go ahead and use a summon ability. She's got two stocks, so a BTB. I need to top off the cloud here. Kill it. Just like that, okay? I got ya. And so with that, I can just go ahead and return to the item shop. Go ahead and check what it says on the map here, though, real quick. Finally managed, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. I was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, well, what do you say? I'll make it worth your while, of course. Give you some incentive. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers and anybody else who listen. You'll be swimming in work before you know it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then. That's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven, the new Merkin town in my little store. I can see it now. 
We're gonna clean up. All right, materia. He's got a unique materia for sale. He's got a cleansing materia that's marked down, and there's only one in stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And it says it allows us to use curative spells, and so the first that we get is Poisona, so that would probably be like an antidote spell, so it would cure poison. And then in addition to that, he also has some high potions for sale at a markdown of 100 gil, so let's go ahead and pick up all those. Got some real nice stuff in stock if you're interested. Pleasure as always. Say hi to Weimer for me. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change one of my shortcuts. So I'm going to go ahead and open up with Cloud here. And I think it's still more economic for us to be using healing related items. And our stock of high potions has increased quite a bit here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set these to a shortcut. That way I don't have to go through my entire item menu when I'm looking for them. And then in addition to that, we also got some SP. So I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. I'll have to try and determine the best way to use it. But it is interesting to note that the five additional SP that we got is applied to both the iron sword and the buster sword and so we can use that sp on each weapon actually so if we use our five sp to upgrade an ability on the iron sword we'll still have five sp left here on the buster sword that we can use to unlock an additional ability as well so So with that, what I'm going to go ahead and do next is head back on over to Chadley. As we completed our battle intel requirement. So we can go collect our reward from him for doing that. Let's take a little bit closer look at that. Yeah, we get the green check mark and it says that we get an auto cure materia as our reward. Was thinking I might chat up all myself. There. That should be enough intel for the kid. Ain't they short handed? Absolutely. But with the bombing and all, they're trying extra hard to recruit more people. Cloud! You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? All right, and so it indicates that we could get some special missions from him as we complete our battle intel requirements. And that he's also capable of resetting weapon upgrades. And that the SP, if we do so, will be responsible refunded but it does cost money to do that so and we do actually have to buy the auto cure materia so I'll go ahead and pick that up and it says then that it casts cure on severely injured allies up to three times per fight but we have to have the necessary ATB charges and MP in order to use that ability so it's still not really a support material, as is indicated by its magenta color, but I guess that could be useful. And then we get the option here to reset upgrades, which I'm really not interested in. I plan in. to develop more material in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. So we got a whole bunch of new objective updates for our battle intel log. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. 
And so if we're three for three here, as far as Magic Elements Part 1. So we must have hit foes with each of their elemental weaknesses before this, because that was the unlock requirement, the fire, ice, and the lightning anyways. And so our reward for that is a wind materia. And then we have another objective that we're 7 for 10 on. get an ATB boost materia there once we unlock that. So let's go ahead and talk to I Chadley to again. I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. And this is the reason why I elected to wait on the factory side quest, going to the factory because I wanted to grab this wind materia first. So I can go ahead and pick that up for a hundred gil. It says he has three in stock. We'll probably be okay with just the one though. And then after purchasing the one, it skyrockets to two thousand gil. So I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. So let's go ahead and take a look at that then. We have all sorts of new materia. Let's see how many we did pick up. So we got some cleansing materia, a wind materia, and an auto cure materia. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and determine how to distribute this materia effectively. It doesn't look like any of it's penalizing us for having it equipped, so we can probably get away with slotting all of it without any real adverse effects. But that'll be something for the next episode. I think that this is a good place to stop for now, so I'm going to go ahead and save my data. And that's going to wrap up this episode. So thanks for watching, and tune in next time.